Um, we have a, did you pay attention to the Grammy nominations? No. So the, the best rap album category this year was extremely, it was some real hip hop shit that got nominated. Really? Yeah. Freddie, I saw something online. I know Freddie Gibbs got nominated. Freddie Gibbs got nominated. Uh, Royce the Five Nine got nominated. Yeah, Royce. Yep, Royce. And Jay, Le- and- Jay Electronica. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nas for King's Disease. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and this kid from L.A. named D-Smoke. I'm Ooh, wondering, that. D-Smoke is a um, really dope, talented kid from Inglewood out here in L.A. He's, uh, he was on that show Rhythm and Flow on Netflix, but really fucking amazing artist. I'm oh, okay. wondering, though, what was your favorite album of the year? Of, of this year? Of this year. Busta Rhymes. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yo, tell me cr- how crazy the Farrakhan speech is on there and how it leads into Busta Spazzin. Listen, man, people are so afraid of the truth, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing I commend about Busta Rhymes, like, you know, doing this album, you know what I'm saying? Because it's real times right now. And you, you know, to say, to do something else other than something real, you know, ain't, ain't the move. You know what I'm saying? So uh, e- ELE is the best album in 2020. Yo, Period. it's crazy too, because it tells you how important it is to make timeless music. Because a lot of this album, some of these songs are 10 years old. Yep. And the yeah. fact that they still resonate right now, like, and then, so you were part of the intro. Talk about how old that record is. Man, 1992. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was, it was, you know, the joint I did for Nas. And right. he brought it back on some next. You got the, he, I thought it was dope. He gave you the feature. Like, yes. it's a feature in Pete Rock. I love, I love. Buster Rhymes. We have a, a really good relationship going back since 1991. So that's my guy. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, shit, man. Look, there was a lot of great music that came out. You know what I'm saying? But but, but the, the way some of the music that you hear, there's no real structure on the album. This Buster album has structure. Mm, it's front to back. Front to back, and you can tell that Buster cares about his audience. You could tell that he made this album for them. And you could tell that he is a hip hopper in his heart all the way. He took, I mean? he, he, he took the time on this album and in, a t- in an era where, where no one takes time on their projects. Everybody's just rushing and throwing stuff out and there's no rush to throw music out.